you know, Okta being a younger company is uh, the, the very kind that uh, investors are messing with quite a bit in this environment. Let's see, last quarter, I believe you guys said total revenue grew 61%, subscription revenue 63%, generated 33 million in free cash flow. How's the business underlying? Um, what are you hearing from customers in this environment? Is it as volatile as the market? Hey, John, and thanks for having me back on Tech Check. It's great to be here. We're, customers are ha having a tremendous amount of success and they're faced with a, a bunch of really important pressures. One is that they have to get the most out of their employees and they have to engage employees and in a, in a tough time for a lot of people, they have to give them the best tools. And they also have to move their businesses online. They have to have a great login experience for their customers. They have to build great products that, that get delivered uh, online or on a mobile app. And that's what it takes to be competitive in their industry. And they know that if they, they do that, they're gonna succeed with their strategies and make their companies super productive. So you're seeing that translate into the success in our business. In fact, we just published our eighth annual Businesses at Work report which you can check out on our website at www.octa.com. And it shows just this, it shows companies using more and more apps, more and more cloud infrastructure and having more and more success. Um, Todd, the Octa stock is about the levels where it was in May of 2020, and it had been on an upward swing uh, well before that. So I wonder uh, if you have a view on what the most important metrics are that you're pointing to in your business and does the move in your stock affect your ability, your strategy in running the business at all, perhaps even when it comes to M&A? Well, I, I think we try not to look at the stock, but we look at the stock and it, it is emotional when it goes up and it goes down. But our orientation is really on the $80 billion total addressable market for identity. It's a massive market uh, split between workforce identity and customer identity. And what we do is we're an independent and neutral identity platform. So we connect our 14,000 and growing very quickly customers to every piece of technology they need to be, whether it's for their employees or for their customers to make them successful. And that's what's gonna drive our success and our growth over the long term into this $80 billion total adjustable market. What happens with the stock market day to day, week to week, month to month, doesn't change the fundamentals that there's more and more technologies that co companies need to use to further their business strategy. And we can help connect them to all of those in a neutral and independent way, which is what customers want. Hey, Todd, it's Deirdre. Good morning and good to see you. There's this idea right now of bubble versus balloon in the market and investors are trying to figure out which high growth names need to just deflate a little bit or a lot. What would you point to in terms of Okta's business and perhaps across the sector to show that the fundamentals are in fact intact and also this idea that some of the tech giants like Microsoft could infringe on those fundamentals? Well, it's a really interesting question, and I'll go back to this report we released today, our businesses at work, our businesses at work report. There's some really interesting things in here. You talk, you hear a lot about Microsoft and Microsoft's success in the cloud. Well, if you look across our 14,000 customers, of all the customers that use Office 365, 45% of them also use Zoom. 33% of them also use Slack. In fact, Slack usage in terms of users and customers is growing year over year after quite aggressively after the Salesforce acquisition. And Google Workspaces is, is using about 38% of the customers. So all of these companies, whether it's Microsoft, whether it's Google, whether it's Slack, whether it's Zoom, whether it's Salesforce, have tremendous opportunity to deliver great new technology to, to customers. And you're seeing that bear out in the empirical data. So if you think about the long-term tech transitioning the economy, every company having to give their workers great tools and technology, these companies are great long-term bets.